Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Super Kick Party! Yeah, pay the money for that. And of course, you're going to get the coffins. Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Happy Wednesday to one and all. God, I, it's been a while. He's always you know, trying to think of remember what day it is here. Good to see everybody here. Uh, we're off to a hot start already here. People piling in here as we're getting ready for tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite, which I don't know what, what really to expect from tonight, to be honest. I expect some good matches, don't get me wrong. We're going to get an absolute car wreck of a match of uh, Adam Page versus Darby Allin. Uh, I wonder if Swerve's going to get involved in the match just because... Adam Page's whole reason for being around is just to take on take on Swerve Strickland and ruin his life. So we'll have to see how that works out. We've got the conglomeration versus a hodgepodge of the Beast Mortals, Roderick Strong and Roosh. Hey, Zodiac, how you doing today? Hope you do well. Hope life is treating you good. You know, that whole uh, one month retired kind of thing, you know? Well, not retired, but you know, you know what I mean. No. No, I hope everything's going well for you. And uh, I hope this is the generally bumming, but it's all right. It's wrestling night. Hey, you know what? It's always a bonus when it's wrestling night, right? But uh, yeah, it. we're going to have some fun with that. We got the women's match scheduled tonight as a one we've been dealing with for a while here with Statlander and uh, Willow. One-on-one -on -one as a uh, CML women's title eliminator match. So with that being an eliminator match, I almost expect... Uh, let me turn this down here for a moment. Here we go. Sorry about that chat. I expect pretty much for uh, Statlander to win it just so we can get another match between these two. If we end up getting it, if Willow ends up winning, it's going to end the feud off. And I think there's just too many other levels to get to there for that. So more focus on the women's division tonight, according to the, well, yes and no. There's a segment for Mariah May. There's a segment for Mercedes Monet with Camille. If you guys weren't here last week, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, Camille made her debut, the former NWA women's champion. The former longest running AEW Women's Champion ever. Or not AEW, NWA, sorry. And uh, yeah, she basically has turned out to be the muscle for, for Mercedes, which I think would actually be a good gear for that. Oh, you can finally stay for the two, 2K24 stream after again. I do have to warn you, programming note, by the way, for the rest of the week here. Tonight, we're doing a double shot of 2K24. We're doing weeks 8 and 9 tonight. And this Saturday, there will not be a stream. Uh, since Tony Khan has moved the uh, collision time to 5 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Mountain, I'm not going to be able to get off work in time to watch, watch a collision safely. So... Rather than doing SummerSlam, there's enough good streamers that are out there covered WWE the way it should be covered. So, I don't blame it, but I will say this right now. Let me get on my high horse about one, one, something very specific as MJF, our American hero, comes out. Thank God I'm in Canada. Hey, Jay Quick, how you doing it tonight? Uh, anybody who comes out here and... BS argues about AEW pay-per-views being too long. They're running eight hours on Saturday for SummerSlam. So politely go yourself for anybody that, that uh, complains about it. I, I understand the first two hours are pre-show to counteract what uh, AEW is doing with Collision. 
which I don't think is going to matter. Whoa, nice work, Jay Quick. I hope you do get a chance to get there. Like, live wrestling's the way to go, right? Like, it's always been a fun thing to do. So, does Southern Huber get over on this in the South? He said, floor seats, my money is tight. I'm trying to be the best. You know what? Why not? Southern Hubert gets way over down there. <laughs> Love Greenville. Hey, you know what? I'll give you, I'll give you a coin for that one. Real America. Who interrupts MJF? Do we do Osprey? Uh, no class, no do we do Osprey Archer right off the bat? Because that's supposed to be our main event tonight is Archer and Osprey, right? Or do we get Daniel Garcia interrupting and shutting all the critics up? A lot of people have been saying that Garcia's contract's coming up and they're not really sure where they go. Would start with the six-man tag guy. Uh, I think that'll be second. Whatever comes up, it should be second. Just to hear Briscoe, yeah. We're getting enough talk right now, so I don't know if we really need to... MJF doing the USA Cody should have done. USA angle, yeah, like... Yeah, but the thing is, they never wanted to put... Cody never wanted to go heel. That's the problem. Dodger baseball. Good to see you here tonight. We're fired up for a little AEW Dynamite once again. Secretly, Cody told him to do it. Yeah, maybe. I like this. I like this. I like the fact that Osprey is changing the gimmick. Osprey Archer, yes, please. Well, you know what? Maybe we wait. I, I do have to say that I do like the new tights that Osprey's got on tonight. They look a little more detailed. Whoa, Dodger, boy! You're going to see Dil Dylan Cisse tonight? And it's CC versus Kershaw tonight, so that's going to be a hell of a matchup to see. I just know that because they were showing uh, TSN, our version of ESPN, was just showing uh, top five betting odds, so. Oh, going to watch on T. Oh, okay, never mind. Only bad part about Saturday, I suppose, will be 90 degrees with storms. Yeah. They're building a canopy for this one, but the only thing I'm not really looking forward to the commentary on SummerSlam is the repeated comments about how cold everything is.
I don't know if a USA chat's really appropriate at this point. Oh, you go to the Padres and the Rockies. Nice. I don't know about this legacy problem. It's great, but it's like what? Well, Zodiac, the other thing about this title is the fact, well, AEW is only, what, five years old? But if you look at the legacy of people that's already won it, that, that's just showing it's a who's who, right? I get what you're saying, though. KJ! Good to see you here tonight. I just wanted just to hear Cleveland say, yeah, when LA Knight comes out. Hey, you know what? Oh, God. Crooked teeth. Here we go. Another joke. Uh, good old MJF taking the cheap heat again. Oh, they're doing it right off the bat. All right, well. I got a feeling we might get... Uh, is WWE tonight? No, they don't run Wednesdays. AEW runs uh, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday for their shows, so. Want to be there if Robin shows up? Yeah. But when it comes to wrestling, Dodger, uh, on this on this channel here, we sort of show all of them. Like, we talk about all of them. I usually watch a little more AEW just because of the amount of time that... Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Osprey just went for a ride. You don't run after that choke slam. So they've showed the they showed highlights of the match between these two in New Japan just a few months ago. And it was absolutely insane. Like Archer gets so much of a better run out in uh New Japan than he does here. Which I get, you know, you, you only have X number of spots available, right? Yeah, there you go, the G1 match. I keep forgetting, I, I thought it was just a couple of months ago. No, it was a year ago. We're in the new G1 here. Which, by the way, cheap outstanding plug number one if, uh... Oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that that's Osprey after taking that choke slam. I have to imagine Archer's happy though, probably a Shinsuke type deal. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like everybody talks about all oh, this wrestler can't be happy or this wrestler. Nobody really knows because they don't know what's being involved. Oh God. Oh god, body slam on the outside. That sucked. Uh, Osprey was like, Tony, stop meeting with Shane. Why did you book this match? <laughs> I, I, I gotta give you that one. I had to get a good laugh out of that first. Um, if you've been under a rock or don't watch wrestling a whole lot, there was a report this morning from Wrestle Talk and Sean Ross Sapp that uh, Shane McMahon had meet, met up with uh, Tony Khan earlier today, or earlier, which had a photo. There was a photo of it to, for proof. Uh, oh, pff, okay, Shane. Yeah, well, here's the thing, and I, I, I don't think a lot of people realize this, and this actually could have to do with this match being right now having Shane McMahon show up here in AEW does not necessarily mean he has to be on 
camera all the time. The, eno- the amount of connections that Shane has in the business world, like, for people that didn't know, Shane McMahon essentially got the equivalent to YouTube for China put together in his time away from WWE. Oh, God, we're going to get Hangman Darby as a main event. All right, that's going to be fun. I'm okay with Shane, Shane McMahon doing something with AEW. It could, could also go... How much do you put him on camera? That's the thing. Of course Mercedes is going to be trolling all that Jay Quick, by the way. Mercedes is going to say anything that could get her over right now. I think everybody. You make up the GM... I think AEW's purposely tried to avoid the GM position. Like, they have it with Christopher Daniels. Now they have the EVPs and Christopher Daniels making matches. I I would almost hesitate because a lot of them are looking to be... Most of the time when you have these GM positions, they're heels. And I don't think you really need to introduce him as that position right now. But I will say this. If they... Here comes the money! Here comes the money! Money, 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 money! There, I hope that satisfies you for tonight, G-Quick. But, uh... I, I will say that if they do announce Shane McMahon, or he comes out at the end of the night here... Oh, look. I get, we're pretty much done for big big announcements this week. SummerSlam, I, I get it. You're trying to put over a good show, which right now the booking in WWE is... Uh, what's that term MJF uses oh so well? Mid? Do yourself a favor, guys. I, I did this before, uh, like... I was doing some video editing to this afternoon. I was also uh, working on the new overlay and there's a whole bunch of new things I want to do in August here that I've slowly PC'd together here. If you look uh, down below in the scroll, uh, like for all the panels and that up in the about section below here, you'll see the new color setup on uh, what I'll be doing for taking out the red and the blue. So... Hey, Vic, how you doing? And also, if you're not following Heroes HPC bad guys, you know what? I will I could do it real quick here. Get If you want to learn some very fun wrestling news and a guy that I, I guarantee you would go absolutely nuts if, uh, if Shade shows up tonight, do yourself a favor, give uh, Vic a follow here. He also plays a lot of Smash, which is always a fun part. Shane comes out when Danielson is talking and says, Hi, old friend. Oh, my. Could you imagine? Like, <laughs> and I would lose it. Uh, what, what I would say, Vic, right before you got on here is, if Shane shows up tonight, good luck, SummerSlam, trying to steal the weekend. Like, coming into this show tonight, I was actually feeling that AEW really didn't have to pull off anything big this week. It's one of those, let's just stay the course. Don't do not do anything horrendous. Because most of the spotlight goes to WWE, which I know it does anyway, but... Or would Tony save him for Wimp? I don't know if you do... Here, here's the dilemma we got right now. And this is going back to like the 90s versus now. In the 90s, you'd absolutely save everything for pay-per-views, right? If, uh, but now in 2025... Or 2024, sorry, 2025 is coming up, but 2024. 
it's almost like you're trying to shoot for the ratings more than the uh, the pay-per-view, right? Because the pay-per-view you already got, and Zodiac's got a great point. You got the card strong enough on its own merit. You don't want an announcement like that to overshadow it. Should we the ish alum open the show? Oh, that's right. You had Archer on. Or is it, or are you talk about MJF there, sir? Pretty sure it was Archer. Yeah, it was Archer. That's right. I, I remember that. I just... Brain's a little off some days here. Like The heat's still a little bit up right now. It's been cool for the last couple days. Then today, I just decided to wake up and warm up again. So... Um, yeah, when, when it comes to most things right now, you're trying to get the pop for TV. Especially now that you're fighting... You're essentially fighting another company for your survival. Now, anybody that tells you that uh, WWE is not counter-programming against AEW, I call BS right now because AEW counter-programmed WWE in a different way. AKA, get the hell out of the way. Wonder what Triple H would say if he shows up. It's like stupid. Holy crap! Shout out to Archer for that Spanish fly right there. That's not going to do it. Something Dodge Shalot and impressive if he's smart. Eh. But that's not really the uh, Paul Levesque way, is it? Zodiac? Oh, dismissive, yeah. It's in Shay's DNA to be petty enough and join AEW out of spite for Triple H alone. Um, Vic, Vic, to be perfectly honest... Hey, Cameron, good to see you here tonight. Uh, Vic, to be perfectly honest, spite is not the worst thing in the world. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it, Cameron. Oh, since we're doing shout-outs, I want to do one more here right now. And I'm just... I'm only mentioning this because, you know, I'm that kind of guy and like to do shoutouts. But this guy here, Cameron, I went to, uh, I was just lurking around, hyping around here on the weekend. And this guy has 200 people watching him playing Fortnite. And he's doing a lot of great job on Fortnite. So do yourself a favor. Give Cameron a follow here. Oh, God. There it is. All right. Osprey gets the win with the hidden blade. Uh, see the shirt of the day. We'll bring that up next segment here. It's nothing special this week. So we'll... we'll once we get to the first commercial break here, because we're we're on a roll here with the uh, Shane McMahon talk here. Does he want to stick it to his dad? I don't even think he wants his dad to be mentioned right now. Of course, here comes MJF. I really want to see Daniel Garcia come out just to show a little revenge spot. This is the first regular AEW show in like three weeks. In in what sense? Just the fact that the the cards book somewhat normally. No special. Th oh, that's right. Blood and guts. Beach break. Oh, so that, so now you get Fletcher out here. Like, there's Callus telling him to, you know, no, we're not doing this. The anniversary show, that's true.
So we're we gonna get MJF Fletcher tonight. That jacket ripped quick. Well, of course it did. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, we got a storm coming here, chat. <laughs> I hope the internet stays okay. All right, Fletcher, let's see you step up. Still smoky there? Uh, yes and no. Not as much as it was that first week. I love this. Could Mark Davis show up tonight? Very well, could. My dream wife? I didn't know Sky Blue was married. Or does he have an extra one? Uh, never mind. He doesn't want to use the S word. Had a boy. You want me right now? No, you can't have me right now. Well, the ladies are happy now. The shirt's off. Even Shivani knows all this crap. Wanna be Will? All right. Okay, I, I can live with this. Somebody attacks MJF. He brought up Garcia. I... I think Garcia returns next week. Okay. Really? Stars and stripes forever? Kangaroo kick Adam Cole shows. There's so many storylines that it, that uh, MGF has been setting up for. Not only is he bringing up the uh, kangaroo kick, which brings up uh, memories of All In having to defend the uh, ROH tag titles with him and Adam Cole versus uh, Ozzy Open there. As we get into a swerve promo trying to put him over for this title match. But yeah, MJF's setting up so many different feuds right now, whether it be 
Will Ospreay, whether it be Daniel Garcia, Kyle Fletcher's getting involved now as a side piece on the uh, feud here. You can get the return of Adam Cole as well, which Adam has actually been... Uh, if you check out his ex, he's actually posting a lot of stuff despite... Uh, I honestly think he might have been back sooner, but right now he is going through the murder of all moves. He moved out of uh, moved out of his place in Florida, and now they moved back to Pittsburgh. So, and I, I was listening to the AEW Games podcast this week, and apparently most of. Uh, most of uh, Chugs's uh, gaming stuff got damaged in bad ways. Like apparently screens are wrecked and... Oh, you piece of sh... He's going to go back to where you were. I was trying to hit the mute button and all of a sudden next thing you know it's on a different channel. Eh. Uh, technology. But yeah, apparently he's got like monitors he's got to replace. Uh, there was a CRT he had. Well... You got to remember, Zodiac, that uh, both Cole and Baker are from Pennsylvania. So it makes sense for them to go back. They're close to the family and they're, they didn't need to be brittle by new stuff. I would assume so, KJ, but let's face it, dentists can make money anywhere. And it, so... Yeah, they're both originally from PA, so uh, Cole uh, Cole and Baker moved. Uh, well, at least I know Cole did. I'm thinking Cole and Baker both did move to uh, move back to Pennsylvania because he's been because a lot of Cole's uh, streaming gear and his uh, video game gear has been. I, I guess it went down in the move. So if you are moving, which I know, KJ, you just finished a move. Uh, just some advice. Always double check who you're getting to help move your stuff. And always take photos of everything that you have because you never know who's going to screw it up. So, which uh, it's going to be funny because I got to take a picture. I'm gonna, Just so you guys know, over the next... Uh, my goal for August, over the next month here, we're getting a new stream layout. The background, uh, when we're not in green screen, is going to change back there. There's going to be a couple pieces that stay up, but I got some new... I Finally, for Prime Day, all the frames that I ordered came in. So, since I wasn't able to stream last night, because basically I wasn't able to sit down in this chair longer than a couple minutes... Uh, I actually framed everything up, so now I just have to... Probably Saturday, since I'm not streaming uh, Collision, I'll be watching SummerSlam, changing around the the background here a little bit, so... Just want to sp spruce things up, change things up a little bit. You know, it has been a year, and we talked about it before, about uh, me getting away from the... Uh, the orange or the copper and blue that I had before due to doo doo <laughs> say it again uh, due to circumstances with the Oilers here so just move myself that way damage myself yeah I always move by tech myself I move a lot long distances take no chances well you you have to remember how much stuff he probably has like his video game collection is huge All right, so there, unfortunately, we get the obligatory... What the hell is that? ...moment for the fact that Jericho's out here now. Or gonna be out here. <laughs> Shane, come out and fire Jericho. Yeah, that'd be a quick whistle bowl. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't pulled that one out in a while, so. Hi, 
Please don't do it, Julia. Please don't. Please don't. Please, 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 please. Okay. So why aren't you wearing a full cast and start, you know, that? Oh. Is that orange and blue on Jericho's cake? Absolutely. Nice, nice catch there, Vic. Ah, boy, Marvez. So they're doing the women's match at the 30 minute mark of Dynamite tonight. They got to have another segment set up, or if not another segment, another match set up for the women's division tonight. Suzuki should have broke Jericho's mouth. <laughs> I think we all would have wished it into existence if we could. You know how they did that spot with the tax in the mouth for, uh, for Max Caster? That should have been a spot for Jericho too. But I do have to, uh, I, I do have to commend. Nah, I don't have to commend him for nothing. Sorry, stat on the screen. You know, things break down pretty quick here, but. Now, this is going to be a fun match here. Sorry, Chad. Stokely, it's not Saturday. Oh my God, I got so distracted by it. Hey, you know what? I'm with you too. Oh, by the way, uh, Jay Quick, it's not Saturday night. It's Saturday night. Because it's now the Saturday night special. Uh, yeah, the uh, Take On Me-esque uh, video. Yeah, it's been new since she... Well, I guess it's Double or Nothing when she turned heel. Like, it's actually been pretty cool the way that they've done this because realistically, Statlander hasn't really done anything different to make her a heel. It's all but Stokely. So all the credit in the world to Stokely for the work that for the work that he's done so i know you've been gone for a few weeks kj so well i guess it would have been forbidden door that that would happen not at double or nothing no tell you yeah i want wembley nana versus stokely I'll, I'll, get, I'll give you an air horn on that i really need to come up with some new uh sounds for the soundboard here And yes, I will be working a little bit more on that here in the next couple weeks here. That's what I was saying. Like, I'm trying to come up with new stuff here. These two just look like they will enjoy working with each other. Perfectly executed. So we still think since Mercedes got Camille that Britt makes a call? Um, I don't think so yet. Here, here's the thing. Let, let's just throw out the craziness of the universe out right where we need to here. 
Could we see that maybe a Rebecca Quinn is the uh, help blocker for uh, for Britt Baker? Because I know I know I know the obvious pick would be Jamie Hayter. I would laugh so hard. You know what? We were talking before you got on here about the well. I guess you were here for the conversation about Shane O'Mac, right? So. As we get into picture picture once again here. I I'm not crazy about having everybody, but not everybody for WWE. I, I like having the mixture of people. Like I wish we could just do what TNA and NXT are doing, but on the main roster kind of thing where anybody can really go anywhere and have great matches all over the place. But, you know, certain people only care about certain products. I would leave for Mercedes reaction to coming out. Well, I think either way, we're going to get, we're going to get something. I, I think more realistically, it is Jamie Hayter, but my honest prediction of what's going to happen to absolutely make the place go insane you don't get Jamie Hayter back until Wembley. She'll be the appearance at Wembley because she's the hometown girl. You're going to see Camille on the outside getting beaten up. Mercedes is inside distracting the referee. And this is getting to the point of completely stupid. Then all of a sudden you hear Jamie Hayter's music pop up and that crowd just loses their collective minds. One thing I did find out this week, though, that uh, I I have renewed my disdain for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs this week. And it's AEW related. If he saves something for Wembley, it's Hater, absolutely. Uh, but the thing I absolutely cannot stand about the Kansas City Chiefs right now, and this is six degrees of separation. One thing you're going to notice at the uh, Wembley show at All In they actually are going to have a smaller capacity available for the show. All because August 24th and August 26th, Taylor freaking Swift is playing Wembley. The day before and the day after. So therefore... AEW cannot mess up their setup for the Taylor Swift concert. Now, don't get me wrong. I can understand why getting bumped for that. Wait, Tony Khan side. To, what kind of pop would it be for AEW to have Tony or Taylor Swift as a special guest getting the Mercedes spot that got who got got that last year? Taylor, who exactly? You want buzz? That's how you get buzz. Yeah, just give her a free box, like uh, box seats. Even if she shows up for half the show, it'll it'll kill the internet. Have Mercedes talk to her cousin. You mean WWE Hall of Famer cousin? He's too busy at the Olympics. Uh, I, I think he ended up... Did, did Snoop uh, not pay for the... The uh, water polo team? Olympics are right across the channel. Hey, yeah, good point. A little bit of a swim, but not, not too much. Plus, he's doing the voice now, too. Okay, so. Oh, Flava Flav sponsors that. My bad. Sorry. I know Snoop's over there. He's doing the whole Spike Lee thing over there. Because who was it? It was Billy Jean King and Snoop Dogg were watching ten Olympic tennis this week. 
That was one of my most memorable sights from the show there. He's been all over the Olympics, like a whole bunch of different competitions. Snoop's just living the life right now. I, I think that's the best way to say it. He's just living the life. So, uh, by the way, speaking of comics, and speaking of Comic Con that they brought up there, how do you feel about? Uh, and I, I I use these terms very loose and crazy about them. How do you feel about DC pulling a fast one on WWE and coming out with uh, AEW comics at Comic Con? Apparently there was a DC writer that did that, so. Cuffs are upside the head, oh God. That's why you don't turn your back on Chris Statlander. Well. Oh, and here's one of the most disappointing things I can say about rest, or SummerSlam weekend this weekend. Johnny Gargano is wrestling on on SmackDown and not on the pay-per-view. Like, serious, Willow, where was that hand going? Anyway, uh, Johnny Gargano has to defend the tag titles on SmackDown the day before the Cleveland uh, SummerSlam. Like, Miz is, well, Miz the host, that can make sense. Because he's from there and whatnot. He, him and R-Truth were not going to get another Big Four pay-per-view. I, I'm sorry, that just ain't going to happen. Jesus! Ooh, 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 I don't know, Willow. I don't know, Willow. That was, uh... That almost looked like 3.1. The fact that Gargano is not on the PLE is a crime app, so freaking lootly. Like, it is absolutely terrible to see that. I was going to say that. that You knew Statlander was going to win this one. We talked about that off the top of the show. Mainly for the fact that we get to see this again. He's got to be careful. Those pants are going to come down. He's shoving it down so hard. Plus, they'll probably lose the titles to the bloodline. Eh. That doesn't surprise me either. That's probably why they're doing on SmackDown. So everybody doesn't get booed out of the building. Or the whole proc doesn't get booed out of the building. Sorry, I treated myself yesterday, picked up an orange crush, so. we, Before I get into the energy drinks, I'll, I'll take out the uh, orange crush and the extra caffeine. Oh, goody! More chair shots. Jabberwocky, there we go. Boom. Boom. Snoop. 
Statliner turning into a killer? Sorry about that, chat. Somewhere Jack Perry's wincing. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, uh, speaking of AEW news, uh, congratulations to Anna J, who was announced for uh, Stardom's equivalent to the G1 that they're doing uh, coming up here soon. Uh, the Five Star Grand Prix. She's got an absolute murderer's row of uh, wrestlers to go through, but the opportunity to get a chance to work at Stardom is going to help her immensely. So, sorry when you said you talked about uh, Jack Perry, I thought by Anna Jay, and that just kept going from there. No, she'll do absolutely great there. And the fact that she's so new and she's just trying to learn. They are really trying hard to get this main event over. I, I think they're a little upset about the fact that, you know, everybody wanted Hangman and uh, Hangman and Swerve, right? My God, Je Jeff Jarrett is more over now than he's ever been in his career as a babyface. Hangman Jarrett at Wembley? That very well could be. I think in many ways that would make a lot of sense with the fact that, you know, Hangman isn't going to get a chance to get at uh, Swerve. The one guy that blocked him more than anything is Jarrett, so. Since it isn't Hangman Swerve, it's more reason to believe that Daniel still will get the title. AEW going to give me the legend one last ride. Here's the thing. We don't know how long uh, Danielson wants to go for. One thing we do know is that uh, we are officially... Let's see now. It's 8.49. Three hours and... 11 minutes away from Brian Danielson technically being a free agent. They are like, he's a free agent as of August 1st, technically. I think they're working on a handshake agreement here is going forward. And I'm sure they're going to sign up for a bigger one here. So uh, KJ, uh, what they're actually doing is, I don't know if it's a no DQ but because of the stipulation of the match, uh, it is now a uh, Statlander gets a shot at Willow for the CMLL World Championship. Thought of um, the one that Stephanie Vacker vacated as she ran out the door towards uh, working a weekend in Monterey and then not doing anything for a while. So. Yes, I'm bringing that up, but I digress. But maybe Sword Man, Hangman are all out. Absolutely, that I, I could see them doing. Uh, what you could end up having is Hangman actually costing a uh, swerve at one point there, and then Danielson wins the title. Swerve gets so pissed that he wants Hangman. They got two weeks in between, not just one this time. So. Be, thanks to uh, Bash at Berlin. They're giving themselves a little bit of time in between here. So they do have that extra week to set everything up if they need to. So they got two dynamites, two collisions. A Friday night collision going out to head with uh, SmackDown, which that SmackDown, ironically enough, is here in Edmonton. So I won't be doing that collision either. So we'll just say that right here. Uh, last woman standing? Maybe. We could do Last Woman Standing. We could do No DQ. 
put uh, Stokely in a shark cage. Could be a million different things we do, so. But as we're hitting the top of the hour here, and at, as per request from earlier, as we're getting back to the show here, we're going to hear from Danielson here. Shirt of the day. It is the uh, Kenny Omega versus King Tekken uh, AW crossover shirt. So, sorry about the uh, Elgato green screen snafu there, but I did miss out on the Bucks uh, Tekken crossover. Still clear out a forklift. I just want Shane to show up and see what Danielson says. And Zodiac, uh, I believe you said earlier here, AEW has to sign him for a big deal to be part of the development and creative team. I think they will. I, I have no problem whatsoever. Danielson's going to be there for life. As long as he wants to be there, he's going to be there. I can't see him going back to the Fed. There's just, as much as he might like... Uh, might like Paul personally, just there's too much not guaranteed there, right? And especially the way that uh, the Garcias feel about uh, the Fed and all that. But it's interesting that they're doing promos at the top of both hours here. He's going to come out and say, yeah, my contract's done tomorrow. I'm done. See ya. Bye. Could you imagine? MJF didn't say that. Aww. <laughs> Who got it? Why? We're getting a breach yet on AEW. This is <laughs> fucking Excalibur. Sorry, I had to. Best cheese. Uh, the curse of Danielson. Every time he says something, they're going to repeatedly chant something. Greenville's downtown is super nice. He ain't lying. Hey. I love this. I love this promo. And the cheap pop for a yes chant. Here we go. Oh, he's showing the real goosebumps, not the ones you make up by slapping your arm five times, right? I wonder if somebody told that uh, guy in the Sting uh, costume that he's already retired.
Brian is wrestling. There, there is a get. There's a picture right there that sums up the day. Man of the people right there. Exactly. This is being on to honest about the contract, right? He's winning it. Yes, yes, he has. <laughs> Here we go. At least we know the world championship will show up on Saturdays consistently. Probably. Shout out to the reference on that. Well, there you go. You just sold your tickets. Uh oh. Uh, no dance right now. I, I, I don't even think he's going to make it down to the ring. Or is he staying up there? All right, well, what the hell? Swerve when I drive, and I swerve when I drive, and I interrupt Danielson because I'm a dumb idiot. I'm going to stay alive, but my tile's going to stop the drive, and I'm going to fail because... My God, Swerve, you're in a bad spot. <clears throat> Of course, you're going to have the champ show up at the top of the hour, right? Sorry if that was such a poor performance. I didn't even think of a rhyme for this one, so. I will I will start coming up with better scripts. I honestly didn't think he'd be here. I didn't think they really needed to push this match this week. And we still have two women's promo segments yet? Wrong one, sorry. Wow, these fans turned in a hurry. (laughs) 
And they turn back in a hurry. Could you imagine Brian Danielson being the first person to get a dual moment? Nice. Danielson has taken a few L's. This promo's dying on the vine quick here. All right, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. You weren't even in the ring. Ooh. But you ended up getting stuff in a coffin. Hey, Ed, how you doing tonight? Swerve's cooking. I, I said he was losing it. He's starting to get it back up here again. Just waiting for the best of the world to show up. Uh, just a heads up, Ed, if you're looking for Osprey and Archer, they already did that match. MJF came out to open the show. Uh oh. Don't say it. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, Daniel said, don't pull that stupid stipulation. Cody Rhodes did that. It ruined his career. Well, Swerve would be all over like if I was Swerve, I'd be all over like a pig and because it's nothing for him to lose outside of anything he was already losing.
So now Danielson's got to win. And yeah, no, we were talking about Shane off the top of the show here. Ooh. So many family feuds going on here. We're going to have to start using that. Uh, I'm going to have to get that clip of the song. Dun 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 So they've actually upped the steps so that, you know, it makes it feel like it's a little bit more of an important match. So these guys are just trying to put a spin on this so it actually go, goes up. By the way, uh, Ed and Astrid, uh, you, you guys always do a great job with the uh, NXT reviews. One of my favorite signs from last night was... Uh, Ethan Page plays Street Fighter 6 with modern controls. If you're a fighting game fan, you completely understand that one. Oh, we get the Mariah May. Maybe now. Okay. Jeff versus Danielson? Uh, yeah, uh, somebody's getting laid out. But now, this is where you get to uh, make, get the feel-good story. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get a Mark Briscoe promo. Can we put a few more people out here to go with this team here? They're making their debut, yeah, because it's Franken team here. So Callis is now working with Rouge. I could almost see them doing a one to end it kind of deal with uh, Jared and uh, Danielson. It makes a little bit of sense. Everybody was so excited until they realized Don Callis was there. It's great. All right, so O'Reilly gets the night off tonight. Oh, so they sent everybody else to the back. I wonder if Kyle's going to get on the uh, the headsets too tonight. M maybe it's just me, but does this uh, non-conglomeration team make any sense? Oh, jeez. All right, well. Roosh and Briscoe, okay. Uh, why isn't your jacket red, orange? Red, orange, green. Red, orange, green, blue. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus H. Oh, my goodness. He didn't get all of it, but he got enough of it. Is that how they call it? You spit around the body four times. You deserve it either way. All right. Well, that ended that in a hurry. Oh, this will be a little different. And Ishii just says, nope, we're not having this. How long until they start getting the meat chant going? So we got an absolute stack card going for next week here. MGF Kyle Fletcher. Danielson Jeff Jarrett. Wonder what we're going to get for the women's division next week. I got a feeling it's going to be set up with uh, Monet's little comedy. Oh, God. Oh, meat. I'm still floored every week. And maybe you guys can uh, comment in on it. The fact that AEW gets a chance to work with Ishii all summer and Minoru Suzuki. Just for the, f and all we have to do is send Takeshita over to the G1. Because yeah, Ishii just basically said, well, if uh, I don't have to, if, uh, if I'm not in the G1, I'm not going to be used for anything worthwhile here. So let me go over to America and work for a few months. Callus calling Briscoe a chicken plucker. He's not wrong, but it's still. Oh, and before I forget, I guess I should remind everybody here. Um, I, I've always been told I don't plug enough in terms of helping myself here. But uh, helping myself or helping you, say, either way, it'll help out here. Uh, for the next month, or sorry, the next two weeks, if uh, for every, like, as soon as you sub, gift sub, uh, at all here on Twitch, you get three months of Apple TV for free. Just straight up, they, there's a partnership between Apple and Twitch where you get three months of Apple TV free just for uh, subbing, resubbing, gift subbing. Whether it's my channel, where it's somebody else, go get it because it's definitely worth the deal. If you haven't got Apple TV already, it's a great opportunity for you to get it, get to try it out. I think we were expecting a lot of chaos in this match, and that's pretty much what we're getting here. Like, it, it's funny because, you know, we're always talking about, you know, you have a, a storyline set up with everything. AEW has no stories. I call that BS, but sometimes a match like this. Yes, we have a couple guys here that are not really involved in much of it, but can't believe Ed's here talking. To... Ed's been coming in quite a bit lately. Just pop it in. Nothing. Uh... He's been respecting the product. I'm not going to say liking the product, but he's been respecting the product. And I got to give him a full fog. For that. Just like I enjoy having every each and every one of you here for uh, our AEWs every Wednesday and Saturday, except for this Saturday. Once again, if you just popped in late, I won't be here on Saturday for the stream. Since AEW is booking it before I get off work, unfortunately, I can't uh, 
do a watch along for a collision. So rather than trying to go up against SummerSlam, I'm just going to take the night off. I'm going to do some redecorating in here. Probably change around where all my pictures are because I got a lot, a lot of pictures framed that I need to get up and I think you guys will enjoy some of the changes we're going to make around here. So, But tomorrow will be a very big stream for us uh, as we might possibly, hopefully, if I'm smart and patient enough. Nice, Roosh. If I'm patient enough and smart enough, we will be taking care of Ganondorf and wrapping up Tears of the Kingdom tomorrow. I did a little grinding offline. We just got to finish up a few details. But yeah, we're going for it. So. All right, commercial breaks done. We're somewhat back. You know what the fun thing is about tonight? We might only get four matches. Oh, God. Orange almost, orange almost landed right on his head there. Well, I guess Roosh and Mordos would have worked together a little bit in AAA, wouldn't they? Because Mortos, if you didn't know, was Black Taurus there. Oh, and Briscoe gets the hot tag. Redneck Kung Fu at its finest. Nice kick to the back of the head here. Then Roderick gets the cold tag in. Uh, Roderick, you might want to change your plans a little bit. Oh, and they're back at it again here. Jesus. Roderick does a complete flip over. Going up. It always just randomly comes in and hits a DDT out of nowhere. This is like MVC2 here. Oh, yeah, there's the old-fashioned breakup, just bowl them over deal. Oh, uh, just thought about this. For anybody here who's a fighting game fan, uh, we were talking about this last week with uh, the announcements from Evo. If you're looking for SNK versus Capcom, uh, a fight fighter before you're waiting for uh, for the MVC collection to come out, the uh, SVC Chaos uh, SNK versus Capcom that SNK did. It's available digitally, but it's also now available for pre-order with limited run games. So. Thank you for, uh, it, it took me three minutes to get what you typed out in a minute. Uh, yeah, I got to order that up here probably tomorrow or t later tonight, maybe. Are you, I'm just going to go with the regular one for the PS4. There is a special case. Get it. They've been, uh, they've been a little bit better. I'm expecting like March, April. They've actually invested some infrastructure into it. But what I'm probably going to do is uh, order it for Steam. 
I haven't got enough games on my Steam yet, so maybe try try playing some games on my actual computer for once. And everybody gets their finisher right now. Just get Mortos to win. He deserves it for all the work he's done this week. Oh no, this is over. Roosh is already up on that second rope ready to celebrate even before the pit. I really do hope they give Mordos a title shot against Briscoe. Like, I don't know if you got a chance to see him on Saturday, those that missed out on uh, Collision. But him and Hologram had an excellent match. And Mordos had a great job of Commander at the pay per view. Uh, Death Before Dishonor. I don't know if you guys like. Do yourselves a favor if you get a chance. It's only ten bucks, but pick up uh, Honor Club. Oh, are we getting serious acclaimed again? Oh God. You weren't. It's not because you make music videos, it's because you suck. All right, so at least that that's going to be your main event going up to the preview of uh, SummerSlam, right? So they're actually doing the tapings tomorrow, so I'll we'll have to see what happens. They're they're being smart. They're not they're not going to be taping uh, live for uh, Collision this week. As we get a picture in picture, where we're not supposed to get a picture in picture. I do think Kit Caster could do could do good to have a heel turn. Yeah, like I think that's where he has to go to get out of this because right now he's just not there. He's not there as a face at all anymore. He was for a while, but now I just it's cringeworthy to watch him work. Cause as much as his rhymes are so cocky and out there. Most people don't give a crap what he says. And if he says something overly stupid, it just gets him in trouble online or with uh, or with Tony, one or the other. So I can't even see why he would even bother. I'd love to see a full heel turn come up in hell. We might eventually end up getting a four-way at uh, All In. Or a three-way or a four-way for the tag titles. I, I I don't know if I've ever seen a triple threat tag team at a big, big one there. If you're going to get in trouble, just apply heel armor. 
And that's what happens to you. You grow bigger. Ask Christian. Absolutely. Very smart choice. And yeah, like, so. Yeah, like, speaking of heels coming up, we got a couple we're going to hear from right away here. Because I'm assuming we're going to hear from Mariah May. We also have to hear from Mercedes Monet. And then we're going to have our main event, which is going to be Darby and Hangman Page, which I don't know how much overtime we're going to get on that for this week, but it looks like it's going to be a bunch. Unless these promo segments are going to be quick, quick, which Mercedes could... Mercedes has learned from the learning tree apparently a little bit too much in the last few weeks here, so might be a while, but all in all, I'd like to see what they're going to eventually do with the tag titles because, well, let's face it, tag titles haven't been defended since the Bucks won them. Learning Monet. Actually, I'd rather ra rather check out the Monet, the Monet, the Monet tree. That that that's money right there. Let's just give you one more of those for that. I'll be honest. I just remembered I had that on there. Uh, <laughs> Zodiac, you're all over the puns this week. I got. It's been a while. Like I got to get back on my commentary stick to do it. Oh. Yeah. What do you not understand? So why is she in school? What did she ever do? Nothing. And that's a huge cost factor. Now I love Tony Storm. She gave me everything I ever wanted. Tony always said the secret was to be alive. Ooh. All right. All right. Three questions answered. That's the entire segment. But yeah. They, this story has been so elementary, but yet so perfect for for this setup. Like, you can see the seeds every single step of the way, and yet they when it's executed the way they did, Mariah's a villain, absolutely. Wow. Like this is I said it before, I'll say it again. Some stories can be obvious, but if they're executed perfectly, it doesn't matter. And that's exactly what this is. How's Dynamite this evening? Dynamite's been great, Crowder. I, I hope everything's going well for you. We got uh, Will Ospreay having a hell of a promo to start out with. Uh, she loves her too, yeah. Uh, MGF comes out. Osprey comes out to intercept. Archer comes out to intercept that, uh, so they had the match. 
as we're getting the San Diego Comic-Con Don King press conference here for AEW. Hey, we're getting Camille's debut tonight. Worth noting, not black and white. I don't know whether they just forgot to do it. She is a brick house, I'll say that. Honestly, Camille being the bodyguard for Mercedes is absolutely perfect. You just noticed Tony grabbed that chair at Comic Con video. She's always in character. Uh, Brittany's a dead woman. I, I think that's the best way to put it. But yeah, Tony's been living this up. Oh yeah, uh, Camille was part of the Lingerie Football League for a while. You notice they're not mentioning the NWA at all? So are you on the SRS side that the Con McMahon picture was leaked or the Alvarez Metzer side that was supposed to be out there? Cameraman! Uh, yeah, we've been talking about the Shane McMahon thing earlier. Personally, I think somebody did put it out there. I, I think it only makes sense that, you know, Sean wouldn't have had that up there. I almost think that they might see, you might see somebody here in the next couple of weeks, if not tonight. I don't think SRS Rick say anything with, with a big deal, with a deal that big. Dominator. I think the last two people we've seen doing that. AEW doesn't really do well big it up other promotions. Well, yeah, first of all, I'll give you that. <laughs> Second of all, that would be a step below. And the But the th fact that you mentioned the NWA and the condition that it's in right now might not be an advantage. You notice nobody did the CEO chant? Yeah, just a few reasons why you call her a brick house. But we also had... Uh, Chris Statlander defeat Willow in an eliminator contest for the CML Women's Championship, thanks to Stokely Hathaway and a chain. So we're going to get that again. Did you see the fan at Comic-Con where Mercedes was doing your dance up on a perch? And all of a sudden the fans were just starting to chant DD, DMD and she tried to get him kicked out. Wasn't she suspended last week and she showed up? Yeah, she said money corporation. Here comes money. Here comes money. Who's the referee that does that? Ugh. 
Don't know why she has a personal writer when she seems to be a heel being herself. I think it's to get the finer details, Crowder. I love that she's leading to the partnership with the EVPs. Absolutely. They really solidified it uh, just before Blend Guts, the week before Blend Guts. Uh, even though she kicked Britt out of the building during her match, uh, they ended up uh, having Britt come out into the crowd. She was wearing the Sting mask at ringside, just like uh, Sting used to when he used to come out and interfere. So... Just trying to catch up since you've been around for a couple weeks here, but I do think that Mercedes does need a personal writer just to clean things up a little bit. You could see the first few weeks uh, she was having a little trouble transitioning into the AEW style where you don't have writers per se, and you're just supposed to get a certain point out. But I think she's leaning exactly where she needs to be right now. And I mentioned it off the top of the show, the way that you get this whole situation over, you let this ride out to all in, in the match, Camille, Camille's interfering to the point where it's getting stupid, and you let Jamie Hayter's music come, come on and she comes out. Well, you could, you're right either way, KJ. She looks like a stat and a star. So, I'll give you a... I'll give you two coins for that one. This is weird that it's 20 minutes to and we're getting to our main event here. Give me her versus stat. Oh my God. You might break the internet if you see that. Because that, that will be a hell of fun match one way or the other. Uh, but yeah, apparently this... Yeah, this was probably one of her most watchable promo. Yeah, like. I don't mind them having somebody there who is a writer. Like Jennifer Pepperman's back there to help out with the women's division. I don't mind having a writer back there. Not necessarily telling them what to do, but when wrestlers come up with ideas and there's certain things they have to get across, at least being able to have somebody there to bounce things off of and add certain things to it. I think for the most part, Mercedes is doing her own stuff. But to have somebody back there to say, okay, instead of saying this, maybe say this, and it'll be easier for you to get yourself over to the, uh, to the higher levels here, right? So it's sort of like when I was talking about that SVC chaos coming out to limit with limited run games. I spent two minutes doing a promo that uh, Zodiac managed to type up in about 30 seconds. So, but as we're getting into the main event here, I'll quickly run through, uh, I, I did mention it earlier, but I'll quickly run through the schedule for this week. Uh, after, you know, don't be sorry. You're just, you know, I ramble a little bit too much sometimes. I know you guys like it. Sometimes you hate it, but. Let's uh, let me quickly run through the schedule for the rest of this week. After we're done tonight for uh, D Dynamite, going to take about a five minute break here to get the Xbox fired up, unload, reload, and uh, we'll be playing some WWE 2K24 My GM mode. We're going to run through two weeks, so we're doing the old fashioned uh, AEW double taping here tonight since we're not going to be on on Saturday, and then uh, tomorrow. Somewhere between 10 and 11, uh, we're going to uh, get our weapons together and we're going to go after Ganondorf finally. It's August 1st, it's time. Friday night, we're going to be here with the newest season of MLB The Show. Uh, sorry, the newest chapter, sorry. They got, apparently they now have affinity cards that look like action figure boxes, so... Want to give it a try for one more week, see how it goes. And then after that, we'll be back on Sunday. And 
if you like MLB, we'll be with it. If not, we'll pull out the Backbreaker Fight Club and maybe uh, get back to our old loves here of fighting games for a while. Yay, baseball. Yeah, look, I, I can't wait to see what it's like to on Friday. The new cards, new maps. Might even do online. We'll see. It's going to be interesting to see your growth seem a little more comfortable tonight. To, it to be impressive to see her grow out that rough transition. Yeah, like, I can't wait to see where Mercedes goes from where she is right now. It, it It's funny. They're talking about how... How they have... Uh, hangman not involved in blood and guts swerve was out there saying he was leading his team he was gone like after a couple minutes him and hangman went to the back brawled in the back they weren't to be seen after so the day before my birthday we get to see darby allen uh Take on probably Brian Danielson. I don't think we're going to get Swerve and Darby. Yeah, like... I, I'm a little scared for Darby here. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think here, but... Darby is starting to get the Roman Reigns treatment a little bit, and I don't mean the heel Roman Reigns. I mean the face Roman Reigns. So Darby's in the process of being the main focus of blood and guts, getting a TNT title shot, getting a heavyweight title shot. He got the main event with Sting in his retirement match. Is Darby really somebody that we want to see that much or is he getting a little overexposed? For me, I'm not really sure right now. Like, Still time for Darby. I'm not hearing any booze yet. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know if I don't know if there's enough time for booze if everybody's just literally ooh. Because if you're trying to get your booze out, well, you have to like. Uh, Can do it a little less. Yeah, like, I, I don't like the fact that he's getting, like, right after losing the tag titles for the fact that he's not getting, like, he's, uh, like, he, he lost the tag titles because Sting retired. Is he now going to run through every single title in AEW? That being said, I don't think there's a chance in hell he's winning the heavyweight title. But I'm also used to the story with guys like Darby. They get right up something long-term for him. And that's why I don't mind it. I'll, I will definitely give... That's got to hurt your tailbone. Feels like he's idling right now. Yeah, like... The problem is when he does spots like this, and don't get me wrong, these are nuts. Cough a drop for the top there. You keep doing spots like this week in and week out. You know when you start doing the same move too many times, it's going to... Frankly, it's just going to wear you out. And and it's not going to give you the same pop as you normally do, right? Like, I get it if you're going to walk in here and say, oh, this guy's going to do something really, really stupid. Or really, really exciting in this case. But when you're... Eventually, you're going to be able... You're going to top yourself out somewhere.
it, it, it all depends on where his level is going to be at. And I know Darby's never going to be that technical wizard like a Brian Danielson. But at the same time, I would like to see him get a little bit more of a base on how to wrestle inside the ropes rather than just outside. And don't get me wrong, he does the high flying inside the ring. It's just. And the other big problem I have with Darby. I get it where you can do the psychological stuff to make him a heel. But I've never been a guy that has ever seen a seen someone as small as Darby, which basically Darby is one of the smallest guys on the roster. I just can't see him being. I can't see him being an overpowering heel. Maybe if he gets a faction. Like he brings in some other goth guys that just want to be just as violent as he is. So be the feeders for him or the heaters for him. Fine, but. So I, I don't want to undersell how good of a wrestler Darby really is because he does know how to put on a great performance. But to me, it's just I, I'm worried about a ceiling. Oh, God. You want to talk about a spike? That was a spike. Right square in the top of the head. Like instead of a Death Valley driver, that felt like a burning hammer looking at that. All right, we're back to full picture now. Sorry, just checking up a few things here as we're going here. Oh, God. The Brody King spot right there. But that, once again, that's like... All the things you could do to a small guy like that. It's going to be a very cerebral turn if he ever makes one. Not saying he absolutely has to make one eventually either, but. I'm with Tony here. Sometimes, you know, just you think he's done and then all of a sudden he just out of nowhere just pops right up. No, they're trying to figure out how much time they have left because they have like 10 minutes left to go here. And they did they they didn't realize they had so much time. Usually they're rushed to go home. Jericho wasn't able to take his full spots tonight. It was just a one minute pre tape interview. Oh Crowder, you wanted to know the other things that happened. The learning tree comes out. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a f screw up. Somebody hit a light switch. Somebody's going to get fired after this. Zodiac! Oh! 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 
bitch. That would be funny if Okada just, after the argument they had, that actually would be pretty funny to do that. That actually could set up a match at Wembley between those two. But, uh... If that could be Okada doing that, like, if we have that happen one more time... Oh God, oh God, Darby. No, no, don't do that on the hardest part of the ring. Oh, no, gonna do it there. I, I, I hate this hardest part of the ring crap. This is the Baker Republic. We, we, uh, se fue de la luz. When the power goes out, they just took me back. Nice. Hangman's gonna just drop. Oh my god. He's gonna hit his head. That's something I would do in 2K, not on. Uh... Oh, before I forget, Crowder, if you're still here, uh, make sure you log in to 2K24, WWE 2K24. There is a new, uh, there is a new pack available for a free pack for uh, my faction. I think it's, I think the code's Pat Summer Gift 24 with no U. So it's like Pat's mm or Gift 24. Uh, you end up getting five free cards as well as a name bar. And the highlight of it is a Sapphire Drew McIntyre, I do believe. Uh, Pat, Pat's, um, or 24. I can't help it if WWE can't spell their own damn names. There's enough controversy going around there right now with WWE, that game, where the NXT wrestlers are laughing at the, uh, Pat McAfee show guys, because... It's a novel concept that, you know, wrestlers or fe wrestling fans would actually want to wrestle as wrestlers in the ring. If you didn't hear the latest DLC pack for uh, WWE 2K24 features all the main characters of the Pat McAfee show, so. Which I'm sure McAfee paid to get in there. Or as part of the deal for advertising or something. Who knows? Could be the same deal as... Uh, what Flair did with uh, the Woo Energy, right? We'll let you be in the game if we could advertise you guys. And we'll put your likenesses in. And Zodiac just had to re repost your post that you just put out there. Just sounded like a really smart thing there, so. Want to give you full credit for that. 
All right, we're up to our main event segment. We got four minutes left. I don't see dark. I don't see this going too much over time here tonight. I I think like if we were talking all about Shane McMahon earlier. I don't think we're getting him tonight. Obviously, you smart? Yes, you smart. We use this for me. You idiot. Did we come to a conclusion that Darby beat overexposed? Most people said no, but he's getting there. I think that's the be- best answer we come up to. I don't know. What What do you think, KJ? I think we're going to, I think we're going to tell a lot about what's going on by the time, uh, he had the September Cubs after his title match with, I'm, I'm guessing Danielson. Never been a Darby fan. Yeah, I, I get it. It's, a, it's an acquired taste, and I'm in that same boat too. Like, oh no. All right, that sucks. No, I'm with you on that. I, I totally get where you're coming from on that. I'm not going to race out to go see a Darby Allen match. I'll appreciate what he does when he's there, but I, that's not going to sell me a ticket. Jesus. Can we just have Brody Kidd come out and just obliterate him at this point? Darby's an exciting sideshow. I'm there for the carnage. Yeah, there you go. And some people like that kind of carnage, right? For me, I I only like that carnage when there's a real reason for it. There's no real feud between these two, so... Don't talk about him unbuckling his belt in the middle of the ring. Come on now, Taz. So why is this not a DQ? It's not a, it's not a Cody weight belt. And I wouldn't think that a heel would do that or, or a face would do that, right? Hangman's got to win this. He has to. I'm with you. I'm like, why is that a DQ? Don't steal a finisher. Don't steal a finisher. You're going to steal a finisher. That's what happens when you try to steal his finisher. Oh, my. Because they're only DQs at AEW when ice cream's involved. Uh, you get the win for that one, Zodiac. No, they've had a few, but it's been very obvious that they wanted the match thrown out. So yeah, just a reminder of the early time of collision. Make sure you get a chance to watch it. I'm going to watch on delay. But no stream next Saturday on Saturday, so... Yeah, they were going to finish the match with uh, 
the match graphic for next week on the screen. This ain't no jobber match, so we ain't gonna have that. Or enhancement talent match. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry to the Dustin Rhodes. Sorry to all the wrestlers. Hangman's just, they're, they're stretching to get us, try and get a story out of this. You notice Darby still has the tax in there from last week? In his boots? Hangman needs some la la time. Now, not time, I believe, is what uh, Roddy Piper used to call it. This crowd is just like, whatever. Watch him get watch him get a cover out of this. I'm gonna put a snooze on the ads here because we're we're getting close to the end here. Small package, small package, small package. Oh no. What the hell is that? What why is Bryce going back up on the apron? I wouldn't. Oh god. Wow. Darby wins. It just. <laughs> ah, okay. So Jack versus Darby gets announced for. Where do you go from here with that ending? Well, it's just going to show Hangman snapping that much more, right? <sighs> so. The acclaim they're showing up on Saturday, but Darby Brisk. The f All right. This booking's a little bit. What the hell? Maybe the acclaim are coming out to ruin the uh, match, but as they're going to be fading to black here, I. What do you think we get for Hangman after this? Like, who does he go after if that's if that's the way they're going to finish it off there? I, I think it only makes sense, you know, just we'll obliterate Darby once more, but I, I really don't know what you do with him. Because Hagman's big few was with Swerve and he didn't get the job done at the Owens, so he can't get after him yet. Does he come out and rip somebody else apart? Does he come back out, try to rip somebody apart and he loses? Like, I get it. You're trying to keep Darby strong for when he faces Jack Perry at Wembley. In the infamous, let's throw him on a car match. Dark Order saves him again? Maybe. But Dark Order is basically an ROH team now. And... While there are people that fluctuate all over the place there, the Dark Order actually is... Oh no, KJ, I think we're all in a 
in accordance here with that last match. It's not that we... It's not that we didn't absolutely despise the match. It's just... That match was so awkward in so many ways. Yeah, it, it does feel like the two matches should have been flipped. The opener and the, and the main event, which doesn't really surprise me. But it does go back to the statement I made off the top of the show here when I talked about what we should do here. Don't screw anything up. Have a solid show. And nobody's going to remember what happens this week anyway because you got SummerSlam on Saturday. Unless you got a Shane McMahon showing up. Show should have closed the Danielson promo. I think you do that close it all in. The last match before, or the last show before, uh, before all in, the one that they're actually doing in England, the Dynamite there, that's the one you close with uh, Swerve and Danielson in the ring as the main event. It, it's, it just makes your pay-per-view. I've always said the first match and the last match are the most important matches on your card. And that's no more apparent during a pay-per-view. And that's also the setup of the pay-per-view. Right now, they're trying to focus on a different match getting over for each one. And this one is the Jack Perry Darby Allen match. The only thing that would have made this better to actually make this make a little bit more sense. We needed a promo before the match where the Bucks and uh, and Jack Perry go to Hangman and say, look, we paid you to do this. You're going out there to wreck this guy before he gets it. He, so he does not get a chance to go to London. If they would have done that, then that might have been a, a little bit more way to make sense of what was going on there. But without that promo telling you what was going on, it just felt like a very awkward match going through the motions here as as much as we're supposed to think of uh, our lovely friends as heels, or supposed to think of Hangman as a heel, he still wants to feel like a baby face and a true baby face would not go after him, go after uh, Darby like that. So I don't know. That's the best way I can think of it there. But the rest of it overall, like I said, nothing too extraordinary, but a lot of solid work. The Osprey Archer match was good. Statlander and Willow was okay. The conglomeration versus the other conglomeration was. Very good at putting Mortis over and maybe establishing a, ch a challenge for uh, Briscoe and his ROH title. And all the promo segments were pretty uh, pretty solid all the way through. I still think Osprey and Swerve is still the best thing on the midside right now. Yeah, I, I will completely agree with you on that. Right now, the Osprey-MJF match swerve and danielson they are going to start putting some more matches together here but that's what you're leading off your card with that's what you're selling the show on right now hopefully they can sell enough tickets to make it seem decent and yeah that would uh that would be an interesting way to finish things off here so but yeah uh I'm not going to say this was a horrible episode of Dynamite, but it definitely, it needed a few things to keep going here a little better, but that's more so of the ending and just the awkwardness of the ending. But not every show could be a home run. I think that's the best way to put it. Mm -hmm.